Hello, welcome to Lake of Shadows Grandmaster Guide. My name is Wispy. Uh, first point on this, you're gonna have unstoppable and overload champions throughout this Grandmaster. The cool thing about this Grandmaster is there's a lot of different loadouts you can do. So I just kinda wanna go through and share what worked best for my teams if you're struggling finding something, but there's a plethora of loadouts for this GM. Uh, you're gonna see all three shield types. Uh, it's mostly gonna be a focus on solar, so make sure you have something to take care of solar shields in your loadouts. Um, a couple of class recommendations for Titans, Bubble with Helmus 814, uh, Hunters, Void with Omni, and Warlock, Well of Radiance with Boots of the Assembler. In this playthrough, I'm on my Titan, I'm actually using Thunder Crash. Uh, so Thunder Crash works well if you have a Well of Radiance to help at the end. Uh, my loadout was a primary bow, fusion rifle, and sword. This worked out really great for me to deal with overloads and unstoppables. And then sword uh, for your boss damage at the end, as the sword all strat worked <laughs> really well for me. A couple mods I usually ran was particle deconstruction for the fusion, lucent blade, and concussive dampener to help keep you alive. Other strats I used was a double Izanagi's burden sniper rifle with summon on divinity. This worked really well in burning down those unstoppable champions as well as obviously the overloads. Um, we just had the divinity guy run a pulse rifle uh, to stun the unstoppables and actually worked really really well but that's not necessary by any means it's going to speed up your run by like three minutes first tip on this first section you're going to kill the blights in reverse order meaning you're going to kill this one first at the very end followed by the one in the middle then followed by the first one you encounter this prevents a lot of extra ads and champions from spawning you'll still get the platinum run even though those champions don't spawn. Second note, the black goo hurts. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, don't do this. Do not do this. I did this probably twice. You will die. <laughs> Stay back over here to the left, pop a bubble or a well if you got it, and just kind of work on the ads from this corner over here. Take your time. As with all my Grandmaster tips, I'll always say, just take your time kill the enemies work your way inside watch out for these little shadow thrall they're not a big deal just don't let them swarm you i'm just gonna work your way down the hallway here vex mythoclast is great if you have it for this gm i highly recommend using it Once that section is done, you're going to come out here in this hallway. There's going to be two unstoppable champions outside this hallway. My recommendation is to try and kind of bait them into the hallway one at a time. That makes them easier to deal with without having the ads behind them also shooting at you. They can be kind of kind of finicky to, to do that, but it's worth not wiping on something silly like getting sniped by the overload. And this also lines up really great if you're doing the double Izanagi's Burden and Divinity Strat. You can just burn them in this hallway really quick. So once they are eliminated, you're gonna have a bunch of enemies down this hallway. You're just gonna kinda sit back and do your thing. Shoot them with your bow, with your Vex if you got it. There's an overload that is up top on that scaffolding. You'll see trying to snipe me. I shot him just there. So be wary of that. You can take him out from a distance with your bows. Just take your time on that. When you jump up on that platform nearby him, careful of this environmental taken goo popping out of the wall. It will be boopy of the map. Uh, and then once you come down to the bottom left here, you'll have another unstoppable and a uh, overload words <laughs> uh we spammed hunter and viz with omni uh to get a bunch of grenades from the hunter and just kept us with heart of the pack times three to sit there and tank those guys once you're through and the big baddies done at the end 
you're gonna have a hallway of fire and death and sadness. Uh, I like when I'm running bubble, I'll usually run out there and pop a bubble where Tactical Fork is right now, over there on the right. If not, um, take your time peeking it out. Those boxes are really good cover where Fork is right now to kind of help situate so you can stun and try and burn this unstoppable that sits out here. Be careful from the fire from the knights. Don't be afraid to use your super there like I did. It's no big deal, you'll get it back. Another overload will show its face up here. You can shoot it through the little uh, scaffolding there if you want. This guy up here has killed me a lot. I advise breaking his shield and killing him very fast. Once you're through with him, you're gonna work your way through to the next room. Be careful of the blight shooting out of the wall. You're going to have a wizard on your right with a void shield. This is, I think, the only void shield in the strike. Which I usually have my sword to take care of. You're going to work your way through the next section, uh, killing a little bit of adds, followed by an overload champion that is up on the ramp here. And you're already nearing the end of the strike. You're gonna have two more overloads to deal with after this. Up on the staircase, they're kind of kind of weird to get to. The first one is at least. He's kind of hard to bait out of that corner. <laughs> we had some interesting times trying to get this guy, but he will eventually move, I promise. Once he's taken care of, you have one more that's looking straight down that hallway to your left, so be wary of that when dealing with the first one. You're gonna pop out. There's a, a very few adds here. You're going to kill them. You're going to kill the Blight. You're going to pop your Bubble, pop your Well, pop your Nova Bomb, your Thunder Crash, and you're just going to sword the crap out of this guy. And he just does not like it. He does not stand a chance. He will go down super quick. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you found this helpful i try to add in just some quick tips and tricks that i used to make this a little simpler um, make sure you hit like and subscribe i will see you guys soon have a great day